How far would young Meghan Markle go to get famous? According to one author, the royal used one of her past relationships entirely for clout. And the claims being made about the Duchess are seriously turning heads. The Duchess of Sussex's lifelong quest for fame is again in the spotlight following the release of Tom Bower's new book, Revenge, Meghan, Harry, and the War Between the Windsors. In an interview promoting its release, Bower claimed that Meghan's whole life was geared toward achieving fame, saying, "...she said to her father, I want to be famous. I want to walk down the red carpet. And marrying Harry, she achieved exactly that ambition." Bauer was appearing on Good Morning Britain at the time, where he argued that Meghan Markle gained most of her notoriety from marrying Prince Harry, not from her work as an actor. Despite Markle playing a main character on hit legal drama Suits long before she met the prince, Bauer said, "...it's wrong to say she was a famous actress. She wasn't. She was a third-rate actress." Furthermore, Bauer contended that the Sussexes are planning to return to the UK on a part-time basis when Harry's father, Prince Charles, ascends the throne. This is despite the fact that Meghan and Harry previously defected from the family in a very public way, a split which he claims was mostly due to a major culture clash between Markle and the royal family. And She couldn't be number one. There is only one number one in the monarchy, and she didn't understand hierarchy. And she thought that the monarchy was like Hollywood. It's worth noting that the Duchess's nearest and dearest allies weren't interested in speaking to Bauer for his book by his own admission. Newsweek contends that although he gathered around 80 sources for the book, most of them were people who actively dislike her. Even so, Bauer maintains he's only written the truth, including this tidbit about golfer Rory McIlroy. Meghan Markle's relationship with Prince Harry has long been fodder for the tabloids, particularly following accusations that she only hooked up with him in order to increase her fame. Now, biographer Tom Bauer is sharing another story of how she seemingly tried to do the same thing with pro golfer Rory McIlroy. Bauer's book on Markle Revenge posits that the Duchess met with McIlroy in New York City after he unexpectedly nominated her for the Ice Bucket Challenge. And I nominated George W. Bush, aka 43, Meghan Markle, and Wayne Rooney. This was back in 2014, shortly after he'd won the Open Championship in the UK, and crucially, following his recent split from his fiancée. McElroy admitted at the time, quote, "...I wasn't quite on my game, I was enjoying myself." He subsequently met up with the Duchess of Sussex a handful of times. Meghan, meanwhile, wrote about their encounter on her lifestyle blog, gushing about how impressive a man she thought McElroy was. According to Bauer, this was entirely strategic, with Markle attempting to use a perception of closeness to the golfer in order to promote herself, the author explained. She encouraged the media to publish photographs of McElroy and herself, as she would later admit she occasionally set up a paparazzi photo or let info slip out to the press. There's even a suggestion that Meghan cheated on her boyfriend at the time with him. The Rory McElroy story isn't coming at the best time for the Sussexes, as rumors circulate about the strength of their relationship. Earlier this week, an awkward clip of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's PDA raised eyebrows. The short video, which circulated on Twitter, purported to show the Duke shrugging off his wife's hand before Meghan clasped it tightly again, leading fans to question what was really going on. Some wrote that they looked uncomfortable and not much in love at all. Despite the chatter, body language expert Judy James told The Sun that, in her opinion, Harry was simply nervous to be in such a high-stress environment and exhibited several signs of anxiety. Moreover, James argued, "...a much calmer and more poised Meghan went into firm parental mode, using a correctional gesture to ensure reassurance after Harry appeared to dismiss or shrug off her hand clasp." According to the expert, the Duchess was therefore trying to comfort her man, rather than forcing him back into line, as critics wagered. That said, the latest revelations from Tom Bauer's book are surely weighing on the royal couple, showing that no matter how far away they get from the UK, the scrutiny from the media isn't likely to stop anytime soon. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.